Marauder Champs is one of those units that often doesn't get a lot of love in commentary, but is actually one of Norska's best units, and you wouldn't often associate Norska with heavy infantry, but Marauder Champions are very solid right now. Uh, just great melee defense and weapon strength, the rage also. Physical resistance is quite nice. Extra leadership and melee attack, even especially when they most need it. 80 armor is decent. It's not amazing for heavy infantry. It's towards the lower end, but definitely solid. You can see there in the beginning it was buffed up a little bit by this Skinwolf Werekin's Ruinous Flesh, which gives an extra 23 armor. Very odd sort of armor modifier there, but regardless, we've got Norska today up against the High Elves. This replay from Cool Umbrella. He's going to be leading his army with Wolfric for... Ice Wolves, bunch of Marauders, and then three Marauder Champions. Um, yeah, his caster is going to be Lore of Metal Caster on horseback, and then the Skin Wolf Werekin. We saw there at the beginning for the High Elf opponent, Imric leading the charge. We've got some Lion Chariots, Spearmen, and yeah, the staunch line of spears, quite a few. Looks like some archers in the back. We've got some Dragon Princes, two Dragon Princes, two Reavers. And a lore of life mage. Wow, that banner of Imric is blindingly bright on this particular map. But anyway, yeah, champs. Let's see how they do here. It's, uh, again, a lot of people don't associate Norska with heavy infantry. So you might not always pay, take armor-piercing anti-infantry units to deal with them. Uh, and that 80 armor, a lot of non-AP units can do well enough that you can get by. But that high melee defense... Again, it's something that makes them relatively unique in Norska's roster, being very tanky. And it's something that is quite useful, given that Norska generally lacks tanky things for the most part, right? Um, I mean, certainly Skin Wolves have a lot of survivability in that they have regeneration. Mir have armor and decent missile resistance. But just overall, I don't feel that... Yeah, I mean, the, the champs have a pretty unique role in that way. So let's see how they do here. The Norskin line's gonna clash. We've got the Dragon Princes moving in to countercharge. Ice Wolves moving in to countercharge them. And it's gonna be a big old mess here. Spears, of course, will be able to counteract. Wolfric punches through directly with his mammoth. A little breath attack from Imric into the back line there. Actually takes a decent chunk out, out of those regular Marauders. But yeah, you can see here already. Despite the fact champs don't have that great of offensive output, they're more of a defensive infantry. They're still trading very efficiently against these spears right now, but uh, we're missing a big old single entity fight. Imric charges down. Skin Wolf Werekin plus Wolfric is going to Hunter of Champions just duke it out with him. Looks like some uh, searing doom there in the back line. Not going to do too much damage to the archers as they're able to mostly dodge it for the time being. But right now... Lord of Dragons has been popped on Wolfric, so both characters heavily debuffed here. And the High Elven Archers contributing a little bit in on this fight, kind of equalize things via, uh, or rather against the Werekin, right? Scroll of Shielding popped on him just to keep him from taking too much damage from Imric directly. And it's a pretty smart play, all things considered, but, uh, yeah. Imric and Wolfric is definitely a classic matchup here in this particular matchup, if you will definitely see it quite often a little bit of Laura boats there to bust that spear in the front line but this back line flank just gets mass attacked by high elf cavalry we're gonna see a little searing doom here really well placed actually the high elves kind of end up pulling through it and taking some significant damage on those dragon princes one reason why I love searing doom so much it's super efficient against elite cavalry especially so we'll probably see it put to more good effect here Imric gonna drop a little hot breath attack and it's smart. Of Cool Umbrella to keep Wolfric and the Skin Wolf together as much as possible. And of course, as, as soon as I say that, Skin Wolf is going to swing away. Imric, though, does not punish this. Instead, is going to be swooping in to try and get those Norskin Ice Wolves seen off, bail out his Dragon Princes. But who's pushing through? Oh, that's right. It's the Champs. Despite having taken some damage, they're doing just fine. Their rage is charged up. They've got physical resistance, leadership, and melee attack all pumped up. And I mean, 41-54 on regular attack and defense is very solid in terms of melee stats, especially for a unit that only costs 1,000. Compare that to some other heavy infantry, and they are pretty good fighters overall. Decent HP per model as well, which is another thing that people tend to overlook. But... Imric just struggling badly against these uh, Ice Wolves here. He's getting frostbited, heavily debuffed. 
not able to get away. The chariot's also just completely ineffective, I would imagine. I actually have the Dragon Prince's card up, but we'll check after the uh, battle. Looks like some more Dragon Prince is going to come in and screen. The chariots actually come back from route, and sort of using their mass to decent effect here, but uh, it's really not ideal by any means. Another Searing Doom there on those archers. They're able to dodge pretty well. The High Elf players overall has been doing a really good job of not just eating those Searing Dooms unnecessarily, or at least trying their best to dodge. You did see one there where the Dragon Princess took some serious damage on it, but right now they're doing just fine. The question is, can the uh, anvils continue to hold, right? The champs, these are even regular marauders, getting charged by Imric here, but the champs, they can help hold out then it will definitely uh, allow the damage dealers of Norska to win the battle, obviously. If we look here at the Norskin's infantry, they've got this champ here, this champ here, and uh, I guess just those two, really. I would have thought the third champ would be online still. Marauders also alive, have some HP, but oh yeah, the second, or third champ rather, got all the way into the back line here, messing with these archers and just causing some huge problems. Ooh, the life caster there just getting run over by Wolfric. It's a very bad situation. Imric, if he wants any more healing, is gonna have to swing back over and try and bail her out. And cavalry also collapsing here. A little bit of overblobbing by Norska. They're kind of focusing all in when some of these marauders should turn around and fight the spears that are gonna be rear charging them. Archers also for the high elves are pouring in a significant amount of bow fire here as these Norskins kind of blob up, but Hunter of Champions once again going to be popped, and the Champions will be hunting. Because of said debuff, of course, debuffing armor and everything else. Trying to hold out as well against the High Isles Cavalry attack, and it's looking pretty grim. Most of the Norskin infantry, infantry routes, in fact, literally all of them terror out here, but the Mammoth is still alive, critically, and the Skinwolf Werekin as well just puts a few... Big, big hits on Imric. It looks like he had a little bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of Plague of Rust to debuff his armor, additionally. We'll see. I mean, right now, the champs have mostly been broken, and it's actually looking pretty grim. A little bit of lore of boats there, swinging a miss. Not going to make solid contact at all on those archers, but the Werekin actually, surprisingly, not taking all that much damage from Imric. We'll kind of keep the health bars up. If I try and take an angle that's not going to be blinded by the banners. High Elves' bows are continuing to fire in and just trying their best to finish off Wolfric. It's definitely looking grim, but notice how the High Elves are not chasing any of these units off. Like these Dragon Princes, or especially the Illyrian Reavers, could fairly easily be detached to just chase these champs off. Make sure they don't come back from route, because right now, there's a serious risk for the High Elves that like these three units come back in, right? They collapse. Archer unit, suddenly that's fully shut down. Uh, looks like the healer got destroyed by Emric in a big hurry. Just a small micro slip leads to her getting actually fully killed. Uh, now, obviously, Emric doesn't have any way to heal, so it's even more important that those archers get shut down as soon as possible, although I don't think it's going to be enough. Wolfric looks like he's not long for this world as the dragon. Row takes him out. We do get these units coming back, though. Marauders and champs. These all their champs also that came back from route on the other side here. Supporting the Werekin. Holding it together as best as they can. Emmerich will come in and let's see. It's just the Werekin versus the world now. And that is not a very comfortable situation to be in, especially if he... Terror routes. I know he's got Frenzy, but is he immune to Psychology Baseline? I don't think so. Yeah, it does have Frenzy, no immune to Psychology Baseline, which is definitely going to be a problem, but... Um, I mean, I guess the caster is also in here with decent enough leadership. A little bit of Searing Doom also on this kind of final blob. And that will help deal with Dragon Princes. Actually, routes the Reavers and the Spearmen here as well, so... We'll Werekin did get terrified, and the champs are done. Yeah, those 13 champs are not likely to come back here, so it's looking pretty bad for Norska, honestly, all things considered, but you'd be surprised what Searing Doom and other things can do. So let's continue to just remove the blinding banners and get in close as the Werekin tries to hold out. 
bows? I don't know. I mean, yes, you want to do as much damage as possible with them, certainly, but you also don't want to do too much friendly fire damage here. Another Searing Doom is going to come in and pretty much finish off another unit of Reavers. Imric drops. I don't think I would actually drop Imric here. I'd probably just keep him up in the air to try and get Lord of Dragons because if he dies, it's going to be pretty bad. But if he stays alive, Hiles should mostly be able to hold their leadership together. He goes for the risky dive, though. Will it be able to pay off? It looks like he actually gets routed by the Werekin. So that's pretty bad if he routes off the battlefield especially. And this fight is taking close, reasonably close to the white line. It's not too far away, so... We'll watch as Imric flaps out into the distance. Skinwolf Werekin continuing to fight like an absolute chad alongside the Shaman here. And a few very clutch Searing Dooms. Looks like the Shaman's run out of his own leadership, though, and suddenly things are looking extremely bad for Norska, even possibly worse than before with the loss of the Shaman. Imric coming back from Rout with another 400 HP. Again, really should just not even engage at this point, but ooh, yeah. The Shaman came back long enough for one more critical Searing Doom here. Right into the Spearman, Skinwolf dives at the same time, and that is going to pretty efficiently eliminate what was left of those units, actually shatter a few of those Spearmen. The High Elves Archers are also doing enough friendly fire that it's uh, causing some issues here as well, so suddenly all the Spearmen are gone, and if it's just Archers, I mean, the Skinwolf Werekin has enough healing cap space to be able to beat a bunch of High Elf Archers in melee, certainly, and Imric himself... Yeah, 400 HP is not a lot to try and get through, you know, 2,500 plus probably after healing is said and done. Let's fast forward a little bit as the Chad of Chad Wolves grinds out this finish. Let's see if he actually can get the finish here. Gonna cut and dodge a little bit on the approach and then charges on in. Flying Chariot's gonna body block him a little bit here. The Reavers attacking. He's kind of deciding what targets to try and go after here. Actually gets a little hit on those chariots, but it's not looking great. The Skinwolf Werekin is starting to lose his leadership here. Another Lord of Dragons gets popped. Imric charges in, and it's actually a victory for the High Elves. So very, very close at the end of the day. Uh, nice to see Imric actually clutch it, but yeah, that's uh, honestly nice back and forth. I don't know how much I would have changed here. I mean, the build is relatively one-dimensional to a degree from cool umbrella doesn't have much by the way of flexibility and i like ice wolves as much as the next one but i think there's maybe an over alliance here just a little bit the champs though i mean definitely solid overall two characters for norska obviously did a lot of the heavy lifting or three i should say yeah i mean between the three of them got uh 7500 <laughs> damage value which is more than half of uh, less black's army here uh imric an even 2000s absolutely beautiful the true dragon prince is also it's kind of surprised how well they did here. Um, I guess Famir are not very popular in this matchup, although maybe the, the um, I guess, do the anti-infantry ones have anti-large right now? Regardless, Famir could be a good option for shutting down um, Dragon Princes. They have been historically, but they're pretty expensive, so it'd be tricky to try and take in a matchup or a build like this. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but it's definitely a fun one. The Archers also got some pretty insane value, and I think that's where kind of the mobility game um the fact that the ice wolves were shut down without really accomplishing much i think is one of the critical factors here the archers were able to fire in especially on wolfric who at the end of the day doesn't have that much armor defend against something like that so makes it a little bit tough but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that one if you did be sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification every time i upload a new video you'll be notified thanks again we'll see you next time